what's going on it's friday december 16th it's the night before i'm headed to the upstate tomorrow morning <laughs> to go hunt with daniel for the day um we're gonna see if we can knock some old slick heads in the dirt and then he's got a decent buck that's been showing up here and there so i'm gonna go try to video him see if he if we can get him to show up but i'm taking the old bow up and we're taking the rifle and i ain't sure what he's wanting to do we're just gonna do whatever we both gonna go bows and guns together and pretty much just see what comes out and we'll hopefully be able to throw together a pretty good end of season hunt so y'all stay tuned i'll see you in the morning good morning it is saturday morning it's 457 as you can see that temperature is going to keep dropping whenever we keep heading to the upstate but we headed out there to meet daniel on his property that he hunts and we're going to see if we can get a few slick heads on the ground and he's got a decent buck that's been showing up here occasionally so maybe we get a, a good shot at him but i'm a video and maybe even uh, try to put some meat on the ground myself so y'all stay tuned we'll see you soon What's going on everybody? It is December 17th. Um, we had a good cold front come through this morning. Dylan, he come up this morning to come hunt. So we're going to try to hopefully shoot some does. Um, I still got some good bucks in the area, but it's after the rut. So it's just going to be lucky if one shows up. Um, it's been a so-so year this year. We've, uh, I've, seen a, I've seen a good bit of deer, but nothing, no big bucks were shooting besides that seven point. Um, this morning 
Alright, so we've been in the stand about an hour now. And before daylight, we had four does hit on the corn pile. Stood there for about five minutes or so. And then started easing through this field. But, um, Daniel, he tried to uh, get on the scope and just couldn't really see nothing. So I'm going to give you all a little look and see what it looks like this morning. We got the camera sitting on the corn pile right now. But, um, so we just let them pass just because, I mean, yeah, we want to shoot some does, but also we ain't wanting to do it without having a good video. So y'all stay tuned. Hopefully we'll bring y'all something soon. Try to let her get closer. I'll be able to get her far. Hey, go ahead and start your GoPro behind us, too. Be easy. So, where's she by herself? We don't need to give her too long, our wind doesn't change. You can, I mean, take your time, of course, but I'm just saying. You tell me where you're at. That's how you do it, baby. Yes, sir. Hey, boys. We done did it. Old Daniel, son. I mean, it's a rocker. Hey, I don't know how good y'all can see that, son, but hey, although she she didn't make it no longer, baby, but hey, we got us a video. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to try to hang out here for a little while. We might go drag her off, off the corn pile and then hop back in the stand or something. It's real early. It ain't even 8 o'clock yet, so... Y'all stay tuned and we'll see what we can get y'all going. See ya. Oh, yeah. Old Daniel done laid the smack down on her. Right there in the money. We're going to watch him drag her for a minute. And you can see her stand right down the edge of the field. But hey, that's one down for the hunt. Y'all stay tuned. We about to. See what else we can do. Let's give, give it a second. Dude, there's right there. a freaking monster, dude. That might be up here. They're looking this way. Oh, they're just there. They can't see any shit right there. Just, okay, can you no. just give me a warm. No, I'll let you know. I, I, I got to go for one yet, okay? Okay. Okay, yeah, I see her. But the front one, which about the front one? You just pick one. 
Oh yeah, my options. Oh my god. Just make sure you tell me which one, bro. I will. I'm on that. Quit moving around. They're jumping around too much. I'm gonna go for that front one, probably. Okay. Alright. You go with that. Ready? I gotta watch out. There's a button book in front of her. I don't know that one got away. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna shoot four in a row. Or what about that one on the corner? There you are. I gotta wait for him to pick her head up. Just, just take your time, boy. Ain't no rush. Ain't no idea we're here. I don't know, they keep looking hard. That, that makes it look from that blessing. Okay, I gotta wait for Broadside to shine. Huh? I'm gonna go for that middle one that's facing us. You see her? I just heard her crash. Did you hear her crash? Yeah. You she know her? <laughs> no, I'm not shooting. I'm just looking at him. I'm not shooting, but... I think she was the biggest. Yeah. Did you hear her? Yeah. <laughs> dude! I, just, I, just, I was so freaking oh, nervous, dude. God, I, I haven't know. shot a deer all year. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know which one was the biggest. Oh. A cool story about the uh, stand we're hunting this morning. This is actually a playhouse from my um, from uh, back in the day that my parents built. We had a big old playground and stuff, and once we got old enough, they took it down. So we, we brought it in here and turned it into a little hunting blind. It's been here for probably 10 15 years. Um, and I've started writing down the names of the people who killed deer, killed deer out of it. I'm about to add Dylan's name to it. Good old tradition. I, <laughs> no, Aiden, you idiot. <laughs> we ain't been friends but 15 years. He December can't spell my name. 17th, 2022. Oh, nanny. You gotta put dough on there, son. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Come on, baby. And the, and the worst part about it is, is the farmer who owns this land I've hunted for probably 15 years, He uh, his health's declining and he's getting... Uh, Pretty sure he's getting dementia. So I don't know how much longer I'll have this land, but uh, it's been a privilege to have it for the years I've had. And a lot of good deer I've shot at here. But yeah, I guess we're gonna wrap it up here in a little bit, and we'll get some videos of the does and stuff. And we'll see you then. All right. Well, we out here at the corn pile, and you can see back here behind us. I can see. Daniel, zoom in that camera on you, but. That's the old tree stand, deer stand. And so we had the corn pot right here and those deer came back out this corner over here. But you remember in that video, right where uh, she came over this way and you can already see it, she planted right here. And here's the trail. Y'all follow me. The old 270 doing some work on her.
bleeding good. This should bleed good. Where'd it go? Right here, sorry. Yep, one, one. Yeah, I didn't think you stumbling. Look at there. Look at there. There she is. Let's go get me something. Son. Oh, yeah. Oh, slick. Oh, yeah, what a slick. Y'all stay, y'all stay tight. I'm gonna go grab this doe and drag her out to the edge of this field and we'll get y'all updated. There she that is. That right boy. there, folks, is what you call a nanny. Look at that. <laughs> that. That's a doe right there for you. What a shot, too. What a shot. We're going to get them piled up and we'll be Look back here in a minute. Pretty. Beautiful shot. 17. Tell you, it's not so easy when you're from South Carolina and it's cold out and my fingers ain't working too well. <laughs> oh. This thing up on that old dough. They're fixing to be legal. Yep. First one day this year, right? That's right. First one, baby. Old Daniel. Couldn't have done it without him. That's it. December 17th, folks. Well, what a great morning it was to be in the woods this morning. We um, end up with these two does. Dylan's is obviously a little bigger, but uh, <laughs> we told each other uh, this past week that we was gonna shoot really whatever come out. If, if it was a doe, definitely not the small bucks, but uh, yeah, it was a good morning. Um, shot mine at about, about what time? It's probably like 7.30, oh, 7.45. You shot yours at what, 9.30? Yeah, it's probably about 9.30 or so. It was crazy. We saw, what, 10 deer this morning? Yeah, we had a nice cold, nice cold front come through last night. And um, mm -hmm. must have got them on their feet because my cameras haven't been going off too much. But uh, we'll hold the heads up for you. Yeah. Little nannies. We're going to drag them on the processor and... Uh, we might be able to get out here again this evening. We ain't sure yet. Uh, one pretty cool thing that uh, the local processor is doing around here is they're doing a donate a doe for uh, families in need. So if you shoot a doe and you uh, want to donate the meat, you can donate it for free and then they'll process it and give it to families that are in need for the holidays. So it's a pretty good Christmas gift for some families. So we thought about possibly um, getting one to fill someone else's freezer this year, but other than that, you yeah. got anything else, bud? It was a true blessing to be out here this morning, that's for sure. Yeah. Don't get many mornings like this where you can no. get two people out here, both of you get deer. Um, but bring them loaded up, and I guess we'll catch you next time. Yep. Mm -hmm.